Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm sharing with you all of the layouts that I completed in the month of October 2022. Okay, friends, so I have to apologize for how late this video is coming out. I think today is the 5th of November already, but, um, like I said in one of my previous videos, my shoulder has given me so much grief and sitting for long periods of time and doing repetitive tasks can be really hard for me. Um, I'm on the mend, so hopefully uh, in November I will be able to pick up some regular uh, YouTube videos, but I do have some things kind of already that had I had started. Maybe I'll start sharing some of those videos. I'm really not sure where I'm gonna go from here, but I do know that I was gonna put off sharing my October layouts with you until the end of November. But then when I looked at how big the stack was, I thought I probably should get this out of, out of my way. So um, in the month of October, I completed nine double page layouts, 17 single page layouts for a total of 26 layouts, or if you count pages, 35 pages. I know everybody counts a little bit differently. I tend to count layouts, but I know a lot of people count the pages that they completed so yeah so anyways here is what I did in the month of October so I um, started out the month with um, continuing with my paper pads to pages series and this was one of the um, videos I did uh, using those border strips with a hole in the center and so I used this amazing sketch by Rachel Usher from um, 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And I really love how it turned out. And I hope you guys do too. There is a video for this one if you want to go back and look. Um, yeah, so this was the first layout, I think. I don't know. I don't know if they're still in order or not. But And then another um, sketch. Um, from 30 Days of Sketches. This one by Sandra Lee I followed along with for paper pads to pages and I used some scraps and I really like how this one turned out as well. So it looks like I also got um, a few of those cardboard pieces from the cover of the uh, paper pad on there. And then for my um, Cricut for Scrapbookers uh, series which kind of stopped with this um, layout and not because I don't want to do it but because like I said sitting for long periods of time and doing a lot of um, fine motor tasks or um, repetitive tasks is really hard for me um, so I got this one done before I got hurt and this I love this layout it's an October afternoon um, collection and then this is a new um, SVG creator that I discovered. Her name is Craft with Sarah, I believe, on, in, on the internet. And she makes these amazing, beautiful cut files. And a whole bunch of them are free on her website and very affordable. She's from the UK and I just adore her. But anyways, so this was another layout that I did in October. And it was the only Halloween one I got around to. I had so many plans for October. And ugh, after, yeah after my shoulder got hurt I uh, totally fell off the wagon I haven't been able to sit at my desk much but I am on the mend that's why I'm here today so that's good news right so and then I went to a four-day uh, scrapbooking retreat well we only went to three days of it we went there that night uh, the Thursday night and then we're there Friday Saturday Sunday with my mom and we did um, simply sketches uh, I or not we I I chose to bring this sketchbook from Allison Davis from scrapbook generation and power my way through this power paper pad because I want to use it up and the struggle I felt like I was having at that point was that my photos were pre-printed uh, in four by six uh, so I took this sketchbook because it was using only four by six photos and I thought that that would help me use my paper and be able to use the pictures that I had intended this paper pad for. So at the crop, I got all of these layouts done. Now, 
there is a whole video on like how I went about using the, the sketch book. I couldn't share the sketchbook, of course, because it's paid content, but I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below. It's only $10 at Scrapbook Generation. So here's one layout. Um, and this is just fussy cut paper down here, which I love how much of the paper pad I was using up um, during this sketchbook. And then I got this one done. And this one is a two, I'm gonna just tuck those aside and maybe I will, I don't know if this movement is gonna work out for me, but we'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll be good physio. Okay, so this is a double page. So a lot of these are double page layouts because the book was for, where did I put the cover page? So it is two page sketches, right? So more often than not, um, I either used it as a two page layout or I used it as two side, like, so this would have been one side of the layout and this would have been the other side of the layout or something like that. And I used them as like, I still did both pages, but I did um, two one page layouts, separate, telling separate stories. Cause not all of them I had um, enough pictures to go the whole two pages, but a lot I did too, so that was good. And this one even was two four by six photos here, but I had this four by 10 photo printed. So I got that on there, which was really exciting. And then um, this is another example. This was a two page uh, sketch. And I, oops, I just dropped teeny tiny things. That'll be fun to clean up later. And so this was a, a two, page spread in the sketch, but I used it as two separate stories. So like the washi tape I used is not the same on both sides. It doesn't match up. It doesn't need to because it's not gonna go beside each other. So this one with um, this square of paper here, and then this is washi, and this is washi from a washi booklet, and then some little banner pieces using up some scraps, but look, most of it's photos, right? Which is awesome too. Um, and then this one used up a lot of smaller scraps, making these little one inch banners all the way across the top and bottom and washi. Then here is another double page one that I wasn't really sure about, but I actually like it in the end. So, um, it is two pieces of patterned paper cut down to one by 10 strips and then alternated across a two page spread. And I really like how it turned out. And then I threw in some uh, fussy cut florals out of one of the patterned papers from the kit. So I got a lot of that used up. I also in this uh, kit used a lot of um, chipboard, like raw chipboard letters. And I either painted them with acrylic paint or I stained them with um, distress stain. So got lots of those on. And I think if you really want to use something up, put it in a kit that you're determined to use, right? So this one is another one that has the strips and it was one half of a two page layout. And you know what? This one to me was easily two separate pages. Do you see how, how well, also because I use different papers, but like how different the layouts are, like they don't connect in anywhere, right? So anyway, side note, but uh, when you're looking at a sketchbook, don't take it super literally and my husband's gonna come home and my dog's gonna bark, so I might need to pause the video here, hang on. Um, so the, actually, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so this one's a bunch of banner strips with the notches cut in. This one was the other half of that same sketch, but a totally different story. And so it got different paper and different, yeah, lots of um, alphas used throughout this process as well. And then this one was a two pager. Look at that. Again, with the strips, something I love about Allison Davis's sketches is all the, the strips and banners and things like that, punched shapes that she uses. It really makes a huge difference if you're trying to use up um, paper pads or scraps, which I love. Like there was no full size sheet of paper other than the white cardstock used on this layout. And yet it's very effective. Hang on, I have to pause. 
Okay, looks like the angel is out there uh, shoveling, so I don't actually have to pause, but my dog is pacing, so I'm sorry if you can hear him tra trapping across the floor nervously, wondering who's outside. Um, then there is this one. This one, I again used those uh, border strips with the hole in the center. Very effective. Um, there were, what, 48 of them in the paper pad, so I had a lot of them to use, and this was a fantastic way of using them. So there's another one. Here was another two page and it used a, um, the same patterned paper all the way across, which worked out really nice. And I liked this um, angling of the photos and this actually was three four by six photos and I cut this one down so that I could put my title there. Yeah. Okay, and then this one, what was, um, just one half of the sketch, but I just didn't use didn't include the other half of the sketch because the other half of the sketch was essentially just six four by six photos on a paper. And it's not really my jam. Also, I just only really needed three. So here is what I had for that one. And again, using like a chunk of pattern paper here and here, but like this is washy and washy, yeah. And a sticker. Um, this is another two page spread and it called for one 12 by 12 piece of paper cut in half diagonally and I really like how that turned out and I just put two little clusters in each corner. Worked out very nicely and again I didn't take it super literally I didn't put another four by six photo here because I wanted I only needed what was in these smaller cut down sizes right. And another double page layout. And this one is, let me see, a patterned paper, cut apart um, pages, and washi. And then I also added an extra photo. So in hers, there was um, like mm, embellishments all through here, but I just used a busy patterned paper and then added an extra photo up there. Um, here was another example of um, two page spread that looked to me like two totally separate layouts and so that's how I created it. So this one again with the one inch banner strips and look at how much scrap you get used up on a layout like this. It's lovely. And these ones were not all the same width. I varied the width in them. Now she also added stitching which looks amazing but I uh, I didn't have time for that. Or patience, I guess, if I'm being honest. Okay, and then this one, I used a full sheet of the purple floral and then got three photos on there. And then I didn't like the way it looked just like that, so I cut it down a little bit on two sides and then framed it with a white sheet of cardstock. Um, this is another two page spread. And here I got some more cut apart border here and here, and then just some patterned paper in the background. And then some little embellishment clusters and alphas and uh, chipboard pieces used up in there. So that went really nice. And then here again with the strips that go all the way across, and these are all different things. Some of these are border strips, some of them are scrap papers. This one is off the top of the, um, what do you call it? Mm, the, like the cover of the, the uh, paper pad, there was like a strip across the top, so I cut it off and I used it here. It had a hole in the center, but it didn't matter, it's covered up. This is a strip of washi and this is a border strip. Here's another one from the sketchbook and I only used the left side of the sketch for this one. And um, struggled a little bit at this point to find um, scraps big enough to fit. I had only a couple of full size sheets at this point and wasn't sure they went together, but you know what? I just went with it and in the end, it's fine. I'm not super happy with this little, this is a piece of um, packaging that was really pretty that I included in my kit. And um, I'm, it's 
wrinkled here because of the bend, but you know what? It's fine. Who's going to care in the end, right? Um, this one, I love sea liberties because they're sea lions. I feel like I'm being funny, punny, but, um, I don't know if anybody will understand it except for me. So that's fine. Um, and then, yeah, this one turned out really cute too. And again, I had just, this is, um, card stock that I had added, um, because the color matched. And so I used it as a background and then patterned paper, washi, 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 patterned paper, white cardstock. And this is actually the back of a different collection kit. I don't know. I just used the white side of it. Um, it was like the branding piece, like the marketing sheet in the front. And I just flipped it over and used the white side because not much of it was showing anyway, so it didn't need to be expensive paper. Um, this one, another double page, and this one used, again, a bunch of, like, um, scrap strips along the side, and a few here, too, but they're all kind of covered up, and then the cameras are washi, and these little strips here and here are washi from the washi booklet, so lots of different patterns used, though, which was great. This one was another one I made using the squares from the cover um, that shows all the samples of the different papers that are inside the pi uh, paper pad and I really like how it turned out and it just kind of made a quilt pattern and then this goes in the center of it and this was two four by six photos in the sketch but I wanted I um, cut mine down so that they were three by fours so that I could get the whole story told on one page and then this was the final page and I only used the left side this one was this one was the left side of a sketch and this was also just the left side of the sketch and I loved this because it used a lot of scraps of paper and I just punched them and then in the different hexagons I added some embellishments that I had left in the kit so if you're interested in seeing what's left in the kit I will be recording um, in the very near future um, a, like re like finishing up wrap up video so I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please click that like button to give me a thumbs up. Hit the show more button under the video description if you'd like to find links to some of the things we talked about today. And everyone, have a great day. Bye for now.